Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some things that you can do as Barbarian to basically counter Rangers. Now, obviously Barbarians have a lot of difficulty countering Rangers. I should know, I've played many Barbarians and I basically main the class, it's all I play. And yes, they are a pain in the ass, but they can be overcome, they can be conquered, but you're not always going to win every fight against them. They are just a very hard counter to our class for the most part. So let's go over some reasons. I've wrote up nine things that I could think of that I think will definitely help you deal with Rangers much better, especially if you're struggling with them. So tip number one is positioning. Avoid areas which make you an easy target, such as narrow halls, open wide areas with no cover. Anything where a Ranger can have clear line of sight on you, you want to avoid, especially if you know one's in the area. Now. I know this is probably obvious as the first tip, but positioning is super important. If you put yourself in a position to be shot, they will shoot at you. It's just that simple. So just make sure that when you're going through the dungeon that you're leaving a way for you to escape if need be, because sometimes going forward isn't always an option. Sometimes you need to retreat. Tip number two, traps. Always be aware of what's on the ground, especially if there are mob bodies or items, for example, on the ground. Uh, rangers usually use these to hide their traps. Also, very, very strongly suggest you that when you open a door or you break a door down, that you don't run straight through the door right after opening it or breaking it down. Make sure you look at the ground before you run through. I can count on my 20 hands the amount of times i have straight up ran through a door not caring not thinking and then oh my foot's caught in a trap and then guess what the ranger looks at me from afar he grins quite loudly to the point that i can fucking hear it and then he shoots me to death so don't be like me don't make the mistakes i've made check the floor for traps you will save yourself so much effort and time and headache just looking at the ground to make sure there's no traps. Tip number three, utilize thrown items. We have Francisca axes, oil lanterns, explosive bottles. Shit, even throwing torches at them to create light near them can work as a distraction because sometimes rangers don't like you being able to see them clearly. So throw things at them, make them hurt, distract them with them, do what you need to do to get their mind off of you so that they're focusing on either moving out of the way of an AOE or to go and pick up a light source to hide themselves again, whatever it might be, distract them, hurt them from afar as much as you can. Even just a little bit helps. Tip number four, bait abilities. Uh, Rangers like to frequently use their quick shot, also known as the triple shot ability, very religiously. So baiting out certain abilities means you can take less damage closing the gap. A really good way you can do this is by feigning a charge. And by a charge, I mean running at them and not getting hit. This will usually make them want to go offensive and use one of their abilities to put pressure on you as a player. Now you have to be careful doing this, but it is a very solid strategy, especially if you can bait out an attack and then make them miss all their attacks. That way, that gives you the opportunity to then make your offensive to then close the gap and get the kill on them. Tip number five, don't use gap closers immediately. Using things like rage to try and close the gap upon seeing a ranger, it's really not a good idea. Instead, Close the gap with your normal movement speed with your fists out. You'll run decently fast and then just focus on closing that distance. Dodge and weave, crouch, make erratic movements left and right. Make them miss as you're getting close. And when you do get close and you close that distance, then use rage to do something I like to call sticky backing them. Sticky backing is essentially a means to melee an opponent as they run away, with, uh, uh, run away from you with their back turned to you. So... Just make sure that you're not blowing your rage immediately upon seeing them to try and close that distance. Just pull your fists out, stay calm, avoid errors as best you can, and just try to close that gap if you need to. Tip number six, forced fights are traps. So what do I mean by this? 
you don't always have to take a fight with the ranger sometimes going a different route or avoiding them altogether is the smarter option for you make them come to you if need be patience is super key if you ever feel like the ranger is trying to force you into a room it's likely that he has done so because he has traps on the ground he has an escape plan uh planned out in his head on how to get away from you if you run in don't force don't take the force fights the force fights are where you will 100 percent lose most of the time unless you have sheer luck on your side so just be aware if you're walking into a an ambush or not tip number seven voip use voip to lower their guard or to bait them into doing something else it's a valid tactic guys try it seriously turn your mic on start yelling at them start pleading for your life please please, please. i'm friendly i'm friendly I, i'm we can work together. We can do this. I, I'm not here to hurt you. I just, I just want to farm the dungeon. That's all I want to do. You know, let's work together. Like I'll, I'll be your bodyguard and you can cover me from ranged. Do things that disarm your opponent or taunt them. Oh, you're just going to sit in that room pussy. Is that what you're going to do? I'm serious. It might make them laugh. It might make them hesitate. It might make them mad. The thing is, is that you're trying to distract them from you. Anything that you can do to distract them from you is a bonus to you in fighting them. So don't feel silly if you need to go on your mic and you need to wordsmith them a little bit like I like to do. It works. Try it out. Tip number eight, invisibility potions. Invisibility potions can be amazing for tricking rangers into pushing into you or into a location to chase after you or just to simply ambush them when they come by. Now, invisibility potions are kind of a, in my opinion, they're very skill-based depending on the type of potion link that you have. If you have a very long invisible invisibility potion, you usually can pop it pretty early and be safe. But once it lasts 20 seconds, you're going to have to get a feel for how to using them because if you pop them too late and a ranger comes in, they'll see where you're at because of the outline that's left behind. Use them too early and then you're going to pop out of stealth at the wrong time. Or out of out of invisibility at the wrong time, I should say. So using invisibility potions is extremely good, but it is a skill check. You're going to have to learn when to use them at the right time and where to use them. Using them in certain spots is going to get you revealed and you're going to lose the fight. So just practice with them. Invisibility potions are a dime a dozen. So, I mean, they're very easy to get. So just play around with them. They're very useful. They're useful just in general anyway. And finally... The ninth and final tip that I have fist them seriously it doesn't have to be romantic just give them a good old fisting they'll think twice about messing with a barbarian after they've been fisted by one I'm serious guys pull your fists out and just fist their holes just fist them whether it's their face hole their ear holes, their eye holes, their butt holes, whatever. Just start fisting them nonstop. I'm serious, guys. In all seriousness, punch them. Chase them down and punch them to death. Rangers cannot, they cannot stand this. Rangers are so happy to trap barbarians like prey and shoot them to death. But what they fear the most is a barbarian that is on top of them, screaming in their ear and punching their fucking lights out. So just give it a try. It's actually one of the better weapons against a ranger. And guys, that is all the advice I can give. If you want more advice or more ways to deal with rangers, I highly suggest you go on my channel. You look at some of the videos that I've made for PvP tips. Even PvE tips will help you. Watch some of the PvP videos I've made to watch how I play against rangers and how I deal with them. Watch other players and how they deal with rangers. Go and watch ranger players and see what they struggle with against barbarians. Take all of that information and apply it to your gameplay. And you will be 10 times better than you were before. And then pass that knowledge on to someone else to make them better as well. As always guys, if you enjoy my content, please like it. Please comment on it. Let me know what you think subscribe to the channel all of it helps so much i'm so thankful for all of your guys' support the channel has been blowing up recently and i'm just very happy 
to be so blessed by you guys. And as always, have a great day.